Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by the Maniacs at Corpse Crystal Records for sending me probably the best birthday Xmas present you could possibly get. And that was the Immolation box set. And I realized I never went over failures for gods, which has slowly, slowly slowly became one of my favorite immolation records like dawn of possession kind of always holds that number one kind of but also like repeated listens to here and after which i haven't heard in a very long time so it was super refreshing same with like close to a world below but mostly failure for gods i really didn't listen to this that much back in the day so like coming to it when i you know got a little bit older i realized just how good immolation are at writing death metal now there's so many riffs on here that like even i'm guilty now i i can't play guitar but i'm guilty of wanting to sound like ross vocally i'm guilty of wanting to be able to write lyrics like this but it's just inspiration like to me you know ross sounds like ross and like if you've ever seen robert play guitar live it looks legitimately like he is fighting the angels of heaven with his axe. I can't really do it with my neck, but like, it's just, it's so sick and so just dialed. But to me, this immolation record, it's what Cannibal Corpse considered the bleeding and that's death metal with hooks. And, like, there's, you know, like, melodies on here that, like, really you get, like, stuck in, I mean, like, choruses and shit that, like, get stuck in your head. And, like, especially on uh, No Jesus, No Beast. Like, just the whole, like, can you hear us, death to Jesus? Like, just the way, like, it's put together works so, so well. No Christ, no cross, no pain, no loss, like. You know, you have that dan, 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 dan. You, you have that New York like brutality, but it's written with this like kind of Hoffman brothers esque evil. And that's one of the reasons I love immolation so much. And I might I will go you know what, I do like immolation more than I like incantation. Yeah. I, I, I've been thinking about it, and, like, honestly, like, there's a lot of incantation records I love to death, but there's more that I kind of, I'm just like, okay, like, you know, it, it's okay, but it's just another incantation record. Like, do I really need it? Probably, but can I afford it? No. But, like, Immolation, like, you know, I really want that new record. Because everybody's told me, like, yeah, Yo, you'll fucking love it. Like, trust me, you will love the new album. So, like, I was kind of bummed when I missed the decibel pre-order for the tape. But that's something I want on vinyl. So I'm sure it will pop up at a record store. Maybe my local record store could even order me one so I don't have to get, like, a, you know, prepaid or whatever. But, like, to me the songwriting on here like you have alex hernandez on drums thomas wilkinson uh frost dolan and robert just great lineup right here immolation's new drummer is amazing also but to me this record just just listen to the riffing and you'll know exactly what i mean right here's my song Listen to how catchy this is, in the best way possible. And I'll show you the box set. 
because I love how this continues the artwork. Right there, how many bands have you heard rip that off? colors so I can switch around so it's kind of cool like having failures for gods like especially with my box set because now it's kind of you know I'm sure there's some people out there that bought two of them just so they could do some nerdy shit like this but like sometimes I'll like switch the art around and stuff so like it looks like like this yeah, I, I'm I'm a nerd. I, I know it's all it's all right, but like I'll, I'll do like either all the uh, like images or I'll do like all the logos. Like I don't know. You can make fun of me. I don't care. I think that looks badass. I'm sorry. Like these capes are really really nice cosmetically. They sound really really well also. And Corp Gristle did a really great job capturing these metal blade ears, and I really, really dig these the box set. Corp Gristle and Metal Blade don't they don't play like seriously like I love my uh, Broken Hope reissue of uh, Vows of Repugnance like it just sounds so gnarly. But here's the other way it looks, which I also think is just badass. Again, very just nerdy on my part, but hey, that's, to me that's sick. And like I said, Failures for Gods is really one of those records that I can legit like say, yeah, it really, really grew on me over the years, like because it to me, you know, has some of the best immolation songs, period. 
has some of the most copied Immolation songs, period. I feel like it's one of the best legitimately written death metal records ever. Like, ever. I'm not just saying that. Like, it's really, like, you know, when it comes to blasphemous death metal, you have, like, Deicide, Vital Remains, Christian... Like, you know, you have your obvious suspects and whatnot, immolation, incantation. But then, you know, I always felt like immolation kind of got the short end of the stick back in the day. Not anymore, but back in the day. Like, you'd always kind of see them, like, not headlining, but they would be, like, underneath a bigger band. And then when I finally got to see them headline, for the first of like four times, because every time Immolation comes to town now, I'm, I'm fucking there, and I love it. They get better with age, like that stupid quote, like a, they're like a fine wine, but like seriously, it's amazing how good Immolation are at the craft that is death metal. Not only do they take it seriously, lyrically, they take it seriously on stage, like, you know, the all-black get-up and whatnot, like, which you'll see a lot of bands do. I always used to call it the Ozfest look, but uh, I'm going to give it to pretty much any 90s death metal band. They wore these type of boots, but you had the black kind of baggy cargo pants, and you might be wearing a band t-shirt, but it's probably a black Dickies button-up. That's how I know you're a 90s death metal band, and you keep it real. Like, unless you're obituary and you're still, you know, wearing camo shorts and a long sleeve, then just keep doing... John Tardy, John Tardy, because you're the man. And I mean that! Seriously, like, Tardy is the dude. If you've never seen Obituary live, I don't know how if he ever cut his hair, but, like, when I saw them on the, uh, what was it? Uh, Frozen in Time tour, after they had that little hiatus and came back with that record, and they opened with Redneck Stomp, and, like, dude, Tardy was doing these, like, whips, and his hair was, like, legit touching the ground. The only other person I've seen do that is Ben from Soylent Green, P Paralysis, and Goat Whore. But I saw him only do that with Soylent Green. Uh, ben was, like, I think he was in a wheelchair. Something happened with Soylent Green where Ben was in a wheelchair. But, like, I remember, like, it was, it was just super cool looking, like, but... I mean, he looked like he was in a lot of pain, though, but also just regular. I think it was, like, before Goat Horror even got popular, like, just he had this really gnarly stage presence, and it was just super cool, and I attribute it to his long-ass hair. Like, Ben just looked super intimidating with, like, those gauntlets, because you'd see him with, like, because Soylent Green was, like, still kind of active during this time period, like, they had, it hadn't came, it hadn't come out yet, but, uh, I think it's Contaminated? I'm sorry, one second, I have the poster right there, I think, yeah, I think it's Contamination, or Contaminated, something like that, it was, like, the last Soil and Green record I know about, but still, to me, like, Pussy Soul is one of my favorite Sewn Mouth of Secrets, but why am I talking about Soil and Green? Just because uh, Ben's hair kind of just reminds me of Ross, but when it comes to Immolation, like, you know, you can't go wrong with Dawn of Possession, it's just one of those records, but like, if you go to Immolation's merch table, they have merch for like, the albums that are more like, cult like, underground, you know, like, albums and, like, EPs and stuff, like, I remember seeing, like, some of their merchandise and being like, yo, why does not every legacy, like, level death metal band 
have shirts for every single album. And like I even said to Ross, because Ross was working the merch table. And I was like, dude, I wish other bands did what you guys do. Like you have shirts for legitimately every album you put out. And I think they had long sleeves, too. I forget. But they definitely had shirts for every album. Because I got a No Jesus, No Beast shirt. And, uh, you know, on the back it says, Can You Hear Us? Death to Jesus. But on one sleeve it says, No Jesus, No Beast. It's great. And uh, Ross even said so. He was like, good choice, man. I was like, yeah, dude, that's so sick. I, like that that made my day. That really did. I had a broken I had my neck brace on and shit. And like I just he, I, I don't know. I think he knew that like I was stoked that like he was that I don't know cuz he was like good choice, man. And I was just like I don't know. I, I guess I kind of smiled and gave him I don't know, like, like a shitty and grin like, "Oh, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Like go out there and knock Christ down a peg." Like and they did. Because, as always, Immolation are one of the best death metal bands live. I hate when I hear people say, oh, they're boring. Well, no. No. And no. And that's not your opinion. They're not boring whatsoever. Again, Robert is fighting off angels while, like, Ross is just, you know, taking over command of the microphone and just being a monster. I forget their new drummer's name off the top of my head. Uh, he has the braided beard and stuff, but, like, he's a beast behind the kit. Like, the whole lineup is sick, especially right now. Like, I re their new drummer is really, really good, but, like, Immolation's one of those bands, to me, you know, they represent a little bit different style of New York death metal, but at the same time, very similar. But what I mean by different is where a lot of other bands went the more brutal and straightforward. You know, like, let's take the suffocation lead riff and mix it up eight different times and we have an album. Like, you know, and that's fine. I love that stuff. But, like, Immolation went the opposite direction. And worked more on songwriting and whatnot. And what you got was a really good mix of New York death metal and Florida death metal kind of coming together and creating this, like, bastard-born atrocity out of evil, heaviness, and death fucking metal. To me, Immolation is one of the purest forms of death metal in the game and what i mean by that is these are lifers these are not you know some fair weather x hardcore kids i mean they might be x hardcore kids who knows but these dudes have been in the game since like i think 88 maybe even earlier but like even their demos awesome like, they're one of those bands where, you know, like I said, even the albums that aren't as popular are good. It's just, you know, they might not be as, like, definitive as, you know, say, here in and here in after. I always want to say here in, then after, but here in after. Failures for gods and close to a world below make up. The Corpse Crystal on Metal Blade box set. I would love all three of these on vinyl, but who knows when that's going to happen. But one day, I, one day, I would love Dawn of Possession on wax. I just, I'm guessing it's a listenable reissue, but one day. But Failures for Gods to me, you know, right now in my life, probably my favorite immolation record i know like here and after and dawn of possession i've mentioned them very highly before but now like i haven't owned a physical copy of this shit in like 17 years so it's you know very very like refreshing and i love it
So again, thank you to Corpse Crystal Records. Amazing, amazing gift. And thank you, maniacs at home, for watching. Keep it evil. Hails. You fucking rule. Yeah.